great to welcome you back to Get Connected. I'm your host, Con Jackson. Well, we know someone, or even ourselves, someday is going to become an older driver. Are they safer? Well, some experts say yes. Well, we have two that are with us today to give us some insights as we get older how to drive safer. Let's welcome Lisa and Jody. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you. All right, Lisa, let's start off with you. Tell us about MIT Labs. Sure. Uh, the MIT Age Lab has been around for about 10 years at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And the research that we do is really focused on um, questions that we hope will make an impact and have a positive impact on quality of life for older adults and those who care for them. So we do a lot of research around driving and older drivers. Well, that's impressive. And Jody, just equally as impressive, you're with the Hartford 50 Advanced Team. What is that all about? Sure. The Hartford Advanced 50 team is actually a group of in-house aging experts, and the Hartford has had a team of gerontologists for 25 years. And our focus is really on advancing the delivery um, and development of research, of public education, and also of business solutions to uh, promote quality of life issues for the 50-plus population. And we've had the pleasure of partnering with MIT Age Lab for the past 10 years on conducting research together. I know we appreciate the work the Hartford's doing in this area, but I have a question, ladies. How does one get a week? Because I know this week is called National Older Drivers Week. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we've partnered with the American Occupational Therapy Association, with MIT Age Lab, um, with AARP, with a number of organizations um, for this week's focus. And we thought it would be a great opportunity for us to launch our latest research between the Hartford and MIT Age Lab, which is really um, has been focused around exploring comprehensive driving evaluations as a viable option for older drivers to consider uh, if they're concerned about their driving and a way to maintain safe driving skills for a lifetime. This is also, this research is part of a broader public awareness campaign that the Hartford is launching on safe driving for a lifetime. Uh, it includes a new website, safedrivingforalifetime.com, which has a number of tools, advice and information, um, as well as a blog community. And we have a number of free guidebooks that are also uh, available for your viewers. The research that we conducted together um, included interviews and real conversations with older drivers themselves. We talked to occupational therapists who actually are the professionals that conduct these type of comprehensive driving evaluations. And we also launched a survey. And um, there are really three key findings that I'd love to share with you and your viewers. The first is that we found that 69% of people over the age of 75 already voluntarily limit their driving in order to stay safe on the road. Secondly, we found that the majority of people, 88% of people, haven't even heard of comprehensive driving evaluations and aren't even aware that it's a good option for them to consider. And third, we found that um, an evaluation can be a very valuable and useful tool for individuals to understand what they need to do to stay safe on the road for a lifetime. So what the Hartford and MIT is really interested in is connecting together that group of older drivers who already voluntarily limit their driving with the expertise of an occupational therapist so that together they can um, learn how to maintain safe driving. Um, and part of what we produce together um, between the Hartford and MIT Age Lab out of this research is a new guidebook called Your Road Ahead, which uh, your viewers can order for free on our website, safedrivingforalifetime.com. Well, from the sound of it, Lisa, I think Jody just covered everything. <laughs> I think she did. <clears throat> yep. Well, Jody, you mentioned comprehensive driving evaluation. What is that exactly? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, first of all, let me say that it, this type of an evaluation is um, conducted by a specially trained occupational therapist, and it includes two different steps. The first is a clinical assessment um, in which um, a person's vision, their motor functioning, and their cognitive abilities are assessed by an occupational therapist. And then secondly, there's an on-the-road test um, where the occupational therapist evaluates a person's driving right there in front of them. And then after those two steps are completed, an occupational therapist will then most likely have a conversation um, with the older driver and talk about really what's needed to keep them safe on the road. Lisa, I'm curious, as our parents get older, who's the right or most appropriate person to talk to them about their driving? Uh, I think that's, that's a question in some of the research that we did, and actually there's a guidebook called We Need to Talk, which you can also access through safedrivingforalifetime.com that really specifically deals with those issues for families. 
And we do know that older drivers typically want to hear from family members first, either a spouse or um, an adult child. Uh, no one wants to hear from the police, for example, that they need to stop driving. So, you know, a lot of times um, family members can be a really good messenger to talk to a loved one about their driving. But we need to talk, really provide some resources for families to think about initiating, initiating that conversation with a loved one and making a good plan to have those conversations to determine first whether driving is a problem for an older driver and then how you can help them transition from driver to passenger safely. Well, ladies, thanks for the great advice and also the great website. Lisa, thanks for your research. And Jody, of course, all the work the Hartford is doing to make our roads safer. Thanks, ladies. Sure, thank you. Thank you. If you want to learn more about driving as you get older, go to our Get Connected website at contv.com. Coming up next, hey, we're all getting ready for the holidays, but do you have the perfect gift? Want to know what it is? We'll tell you how to save money on it when we come back. <laughs>